If you've been looking for a home in Vancouver, Washington, you have probably noticed how much new construction there is in the area. There has been tons of development in Vancouver, Washington over the past few decades. Just as an example, to paint you a picture of this growth, 10 years ago in 2013, the population of Vancouver was 171,000 people. The population has grown by 200,000 people in the last 10 years, and now there are 194,000 people living in Clark County, Washington, or within Vancouver itself. According to the census, there are about two and a half people per household in this area. So 10 years ago, there were roughly 68,000 households in Vancouver, and today there are roughly 77,000. To keep up with demand, builders, would have had to build over 900 homes a year or just under 10,000 homes in the last 10 years. So you see a lot of new construction when you're looking for properties in Vancouver. Thank you for watching. I make a new video every week on life and real estate here in Southwest Washington, meaning the Vancouver, Washington area. I talk about all the main cities and towns in Clark County, Washington, Washington uh, including Camas, Washougal, Vancouver, Battleground, Ridgefield, and even sometimes La Center and Woodland. If you wanna talk about your home search, or your move to this area, call me anytime. My phone number and email are in the header above and they're also down below in the description. I have a team of agents here in Vancouver and we are ready to help you make the transition to this area. And don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell on for notifications when a new video is uploaded every week. As I mentioned before, there is tons of new construction in Vancouver and the surrounding areas. Ridgefield and Battleground in particular have reputations of having lots of new homes and more development than other areas. If you are looking for new construction, I want you to burn this into your brain. Bring a buyer's agent with you when you go to the model home, or at the very least, write down your buyer agent's name when you check in to register yourself as having an agent or else most builders are not gonna let you use an outside buyer's agent. If you make that first visit to the model home without a buyer's agent or without bringing up the fact that you are working with an agent or you have outside representation, you most likely are gonna be SOL at getting representation in the transaction. And builders are used to buyers having brokers. I'll even talk a little bit about why builders might even prefer that you have your own broker representing you. So don't feel bad letting them know you are already working with an agent. I know I'm sounding very bossy saying it like that, but it is the truth. And if you do not let your broker either first, like one, set up the appointment, two, call ahead to let that agent um, at the model home know that you are coming, or three, come with you, then it is very likely that you will not have any representation in the transaction. There are some builders that are worse about this than others, but if you are not represented, then it means more money in the builder's pocket and also less negotiations that would benefit you. Both of these things are to the builder's advantage, not yours. So here are the top five reasons why you need a buyer's agent when shopping for new construction. There are more reasons than this, but in the interest of time, I'm gonna keep this list to five. If you want to know the rest of the reasons, use the link down below in the description to reach out and I will get you the rest of the list. One, the new home salesperson represents the interests of the builder, not the buyer. They are looking out for the builder's best interest, not yours. The builder's rep is usually a real estate broker, just like me, and they have negotiated a listing agreement with the builder so that when they sell homes in the community, they get paid a commission. Part of that commission that they have negotiated with the builder is set aside for the buyer's agent. So if you don't bring your own broker as a buyer's agent to represent you in the transaction, that commission is either going to the listing agent or staying with the builder. Reason number two, the builder's contract will protect the builder's best interest and you will want your own agent to help talk you through the risks and understand the fine print. Most contracts in Washington are written on Northwest multiple listing service forms, which are standardized across the state and realtors are licensed to fill in the blanks on those forms versus write contracts. Builders typically have their own contracts drawn up by attorneys and they are written to benefit the builder, not the buyer. These are not standard forms. Most often this is all okay and it's above board, but you need to know what you're getting yourself into and your buyer's agent is going to point out the potential pitfalls of the contract so you go into the process with your eyes wide open. For example, most builders will not accept a low appraisal. So if the appraised value comes in lower than the sales price, the buyer is on the hook for the difference. Another pitfall might be timelines. Let's say you need to be in the house by a certain date, but the builder faces delay after delay. Might not be their fault, might be subcontractors, might be 
the supply chain issues. Usually there is no protection for the buyer if the home construction is delayed and any repercussions such as additional moving fees, rate lock extensions, etc., would be the buyer's responsibility, not the builder's. Number three, the builder has already agreed to pay a buyer's agent when they list the property. If you do not bring your own realtor, they are keeping that money or the listing agent is going to be paid more. They have a budget for marketing, which includes paying your buyer's agent. It is no additional cost out of your pocket to bring a buyer's agent and you cannot negotiate to receive any portion of that real estate commission. Reason number four, your realtor can help you navigate any disagreements that come up during the build process. Also, the builder's representative often appreciates having a broker to help in communications. They see realtors as a positive, as helping throughout the process by providing their own experiences and understanding as a framework for you, the buyer. As a result, the builder's representative may be more, more cooperative with you if you have a buyer agent involved. Reason number five, a buyer's agent can help negotiate the best possible deal for you based on potential upgrades, financing incentives, and discounts. They are gonna know what to ask for and how to get you more out of the contract. An experienced buyer's agent is gonna know what questions to ask the builder and where a builder might give a little bit to, as a perk to a buyer that maybe as a consumer, you're not gonna know those same questions to ask. For example, does the builder have some relationships with vendors for appliances? So maybe we could negotiate asking for some appliances to be included in the sale that the builder can get at better pricing. Or maybe your buyer agent is going to advise you not to go through the builder for certain things because you are going to be paying for not just the tie, the extra tile or the extra trim or the extra bookcases or whatever it is, but you're also going to be paying the, but you're also going to be paying the markup on those things and it's not going to be worth it it's something a buyer's agent could help you decide throughout the process is this going to be worth it to include in the transaction or is this something that you could get done after closing for a better price i also want to mention that when you are choosing a buyer's agent to help you find a new home keep in mind that they probably have lots of different experiences with different builders not all builders are created equally lean on their wisdom here as they may help you dodge a bullet if you are leaning toward a new home that may not be apples to apples with other opportunities. All homes in Clark County are built to code, but the price difference to get a home that is built to a higher standard of the code <laughs> or to a standard higher than code might be money well spent. And your buyer's agent can help you navigate what home is going to be the best value for you. So there you have it. Those are my top five reasons why you should have a buyer's agent represent you when you are shopping for new construction. I do have more reasons. I just didn't want to make this video too long. So if you'd like to know all of those reasons or schedule time to talk with me, you can use the link down below in the description to get that handout of all of the 18 reasons. I think there's like 18 reasons that I've spelled out. Uh, if you want to talk about your move to Vancouver, Washington, or talk about a specific community, just reach out to me, my phone number and email, are in the description down below and i'd love to have a chat with you about a move to this area or what you are looking for in your next home